These are 10 inventions from the past that failed. These are the inventions that people genuinely thought were the next big thing, but for one reason or another, just never caught on. And first up, we have the Dynosphere. Imagine a futuristic vehicle that looks like a giant metal hamster wheel on steroids. That's the Dynosphere. Invented in the 1930s, this one-wheeled marvel was supposed to revolutionize transportation. The idea was that you'd hop inside the sphere, spin a giant wheel to get going, and then steer by leaning in the direction you wanted to go. Sounds simple, right? Well, not exactly. The Dynosphere was incredibly unstable. One wrong move and you'd be rolling down the street like a runaway tire. Plus, it wasn't very practical. Imagine trying to park this thing at the grocery store. Needless to say, the Dynosphere never made it out of the prototype stage. Another invention that sounds cool but did not work too great was the underwater propeller. Ever dreamed of exploring the ocean floor without having to deal with scuba gear and wetsuits? Well, in the 1930s, someone invented the underwater propeller with that exact dream in mind. This contraption looked like a giant metal backpack with a propeller on the back. The idea was that you'd strap it on, turn on the propeller, and zoom around underwater like a human torpedo. Sounds amazing, right? Except for a few tiny problems. First, it was incredibly heavy and bulky, making it difficult to move around. Second, there wasn't much steering involved, so you could end up zooming off in any direction. Plus, imagine the danger of getting tangled in seaweed or bumping into a coral reef. The underwater propeller was a cool idea, but a little too impractical for most ocean adventurers. But the portable changing room, in my opinion, is a great idea that just didn't work. Picture this, you're at the beach, ready to take a dip in the ocean, but you don't want to change in public. Enter the portable changing room. Invented in the 1920s, this was basically a tiny tent on wheels that you could pull right up to the water's edge. Sounds convenient, right? Well, there were a few drawbacks. First, it wasn't exactly lightweight. Imagine lugging this thing down to the beach. Second, it wasn't very spacious. How comfortable do you think changing into a swimsuit would be in a tiny collapsible tent? Plus, strong winds could easily send your portable changing room rolling down the beach, leaving you exposed in front of everyone. While the idea was good for those seeking a bit of privacy, the practicality just wasn't there. You would get a workout carrying around the portable changing room, but you'd definitely get a good workout with the bicycle lawnmower. Imagine keeping your lawn looking neat and tidy without having to push a noisy, gas-powered mower. That was the idea behind the bicycle lawn mower, invented in the 1890s. This contraption looked like a regular bicycle with a series of blades attached underneath. The idea was that you'd pedal around your yard and the blades would cut the grass as you went. Sounds like a fun way to get some exercise and mow the lawn at the same time, right? Well, not quite. First, it was incredibly tiring to pedal around your entire yard, especially on uneven terrain. Second, the blades weren't very powerful, so they could only handle very short grass. Plus, imagine the awkward turns you'd have to make to get into every corner of your yard. The bicycle lawn mower might have been a good idea for a small patch of grass, but for most homeowners, it was just too much work. That invention almost makes lawn mowing sound fun, but not as fun as the ice skate sled. Imagine combining the thrill of ice skating with the speed of a sled. That's what the inventors of the ice skate sled were thinking in the 1960s. This contraption looked like a regular sled with ice skates attached to the bottom. The idea was that you'd steer and propel yourself forward by pushing off the ice with your feet, just like you would with ice skates. Sounds like a recipe for winter fun, right? Well, not exactly. The ice skate sled was incredibly difficult to control. It was prone to tipping over, especially on turns, and it was hard to stop without crashing. Plus, the ice skates weren't very effective on uneven ice surfaces. Imagine trying to navigate a bumpy frozen pond on this thing. Not exactly a smooth ride. While the ice skate sled had the potential for some fun, the lack of control and practicality made it more of a recipe for disaster than winter enjoyment. We all know us humans love to be as efficient as possible while maintaining a stunning look. And that's what the Feather Duster Telephone tried to do. In the late 1800s, telephones were still a new and exciting invention. But some people thought they were a bit too, well, 
industrial looking. Enter the feather duster telephone. This contraption looked like a fancy feather duster, but hidden inside the handle was a microphone and receiver. The idea was that you'd speak into the feather end and listen through the other end, all while maintaining a sense of elegance in your home. Sounds like a unique way to stay connected, right? Well, there were a few problems. First, the sound quality was terrible, making it difficult to hear conversations clearly. Second, it was incredibly awkward to hold and use. Imagine trying to have a conversation while holding a feather duster to your ear. Plus, the feather part didn't actually do any dusting. While the feather duster telephone might have been a creative attempt to make phones more visually appealing, the practicality and functionality just weren't there. And this next one is an invention that honestly needs to make a comeback. It was called the folding hat. Imagine never having to worry about crushing your hat or finding a place to store it. That was the promise of the folding hat, invented in the 1920s. This hat could be folded flat or even rolled up, making it easy to carry around in your pocket or purse. Sounds like a space-saving solution for the fashion-conscious individual, right? Well, there were a few catches. First, the folding mechanism often resulted in creases and wrinkles in the hat, making it look less than stylish when unfolded. Second, the materials used to make these hats weren't always very high quality, so they often lost their shape easily. Plus, who wants to walk around with a crumpled hat in their pocket? The folding hat might have been a convenient idea on paper, but the execution just wasn't there. And speaking of poor execution, we have the mention, the umbrella stroller. Imagine strolling through the park with your baby on a rainy day without having to hold an umbrella over both of you. That's what the inventors of the umbrella stroller were thinking in the 1960s. This contraption combined a traditional stroller with a built-in umbrella attached to the canopy. Sounds like a lifesaver for any parent caught in a downpour, right? Well, there were a few flaws. First, the umbrella made the stroller bulky and difficult to maneuver, especially in tight spaces. Second, the wind could easily blow the umbrella around, making it more of a hindrance than a help. Plus, if the rain was coming from an angle, the umbrella wouldn't offer complete protection. While the umbrella stroller might have seemed like a good idea at first, the practicality and functionality just weren't there. This next one is kind of still around today, just with better technology. The Automatic Shoe Polishing Machine Polishing your shoes can be a time-consuming and messy chore. That's why someone invented the Automatic Shoe Polishing Machine in the early 1900s. This contraption looked like a small box with brushes and polish dispensers inside. You'd simply insert your shoe, press a button, and the machine would automatically polish it to a shine. Sounds like a dream come true for busy professionals, right? Well, not quite. First, these machines were expensive and not widely available. Second, they were often harsh on delicate leather shoes, causing them to crack and wear prematurely. Plus, they weren't very good at reaching all the nooks and crannies of a shoe, leaving behind missed spots and uneven polish. While the automatic shoe polishing machine offered a glimpse into a future of convenience, the technology just wasn't there yet. And last, but certainly not least, is the flying suit. Remember the jetpacks and flying cars from science fiction movies? Well, in the 1960s, someone actually tried to make a flying suit a reality. This contraption looked like a backpack with two small jet engines attached to the arms. The idea was that you'd strap it on, start the engines, and lift off into the sky like a human rocket. Sounds like something out of a superhero comic book, right? Well, the reality was a bit different. First, the flying suit was incredibly loud and dangerous. Second, it was incredibly difficult to control. Imagine trying to balance yourself in the air with two small jet engines strapped to your arms. Not exactly a recipe for smooth flying. Plus, the flying time was very limited due to the small fuel capacity. While the flying suit captured the imagination of many, the technology and safety concerns kept it grounded in the realm of failed inventions. These are just a few examples of the many interesting and sometimes bizarre inventions from the past that never quite caught on. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more fun explorations of history and technology. And let us know in the comments below which of these forgotten inventions you find the most interesting or the most ridiculous. Also, click the video on the screen to watch more.